Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be about my perfume collection. I think I have a little perfume collection and, and I started getting into perfume this past year. Um, a friend of mine, my boyfriend, just in actually inspired me to get into it. Um, and I started collecting, collecting, like I said, this past year and I actually got a new one from Sephora. And I also got a new one, actually a free one from Influencer. If you don't know what Influencer is, it's basically this app um, that you get free products as long as you review them and upload pictures about them. It could be like reviewing them on Sephora or, or Ulta or just other like vast sites. And I already opened this one, if I'm being honest. Um, see? Yeah. So what came in this is this small like little Miss Dior perfume right here. I think it's so cute. Like even though it's not the full size, like this is the size of my hand. And there you go. It smells so good. It smells floral. It smells... I don't know how to describe it, but it's basically very, like, it's floral, I would say. I would wear this during the spring, um, personally, but also knowing myself, I wear anything that smells good throughout the year. Whatever smells good, and I feel like putting it on, I'm gonna put it on. So what also came in this box as well were these two little samples right here. A sample called Blooming Bouquet. And it smells really good as well. It's a floral scent, but a bit more lighter. This is actually my cousin's favorite. And I'm considering on buying this one. I'm all, I also got the Mizier Eau de Parfume. The beauty of gra grass roses wrapped in a ribbon of fresh notes and woven with a lively rosewood. The modern and confident femininity of sensual floral. That's what it says. And it also came with this card right here. The next perfume that we're going to talk about is this Versace Crystal Perfume here that I got. I got this on Black Friday and I remember seeing it and I was like, how much are you? And the lady said it was $25 and I was like, sold. And I got this at Macy's specifically and it's like one ounce. So I thought it was a steal, which is why I got it. And it smells so good. It smells like... Okay, so you know how you guys walk into Eric Combi, right? And you smell, it smells like really good. It's like that mixed with like a floral scent in my opinion. I'm going to leave the description around here so you guys can see it for yourself to see if you're into it or not. But I highly recommend this. You can't go wrong with... I can wear this whatever I have on. Like I can't go wrong with it. So yeah. Versace Crystal. And I have this new one right here which is this new Coach right here. Coach Fleur de Perfume. Fleur de Perfume. I'm going to leave everything down below. And according to online, according to online, it says the fragrance notes: top pineapple, soul brit, middle tea rose, base creamy woods. Um, to me, this smells very floral. Like I like I first smelled this on the piece of paper, like you know those samples you get on the magazine, the paper. Yeah, I smelled it there, and I always kept it on my wall, saying that one day I'm gonna buy it. And two weeks ago was the day I bought it, and I think it smells really. It smells really good in my opinion. It smells very floral. If you're not into florals, this may not be for you. But it smells very like, like it says, like a tea rose. Like I definitely smell rose in this thing. I don't know. It smells jasmine, like a bouquet of flowers, basically. Very elegant. I'd wear this for sure during the spring. And... You could wear this on a job interview, in my opinion. It's very safe to wear. Um, so yeah, you have to twist it a lot. I think it's very cute. Like I said, look. All right, the next one is like my second favorite perfume in the entire world. Chloe Love Story. This is my favorite perfume. I discovered this about like, I, I discovered this in college like a couple of years ago. I got like a little sample of it. Look, hold on. See, I'm done with this. I told myself, stop being cheap and buy yourself the big bottle because guess what? You always run out of this stuff. This is like, okay, according to the notes that I'm going to put around here, like I said, it's very a fruity floral. What a surprise. Jasmine, Nirol, um, it says as well. It's a class, Chloe's version of romantic, effortless chic lives, ready to wear accessories and fragrances. In my opinion, it's very light. It's long lasting. You smell very sophisticated. You, you smell sexy at the same time. Um, you can't go wrong with this. I wear this literally like anywhere I go. 
So if I had to like go to school, go to um clinical, see my girls, go on a date, go to church, I'd wear this right here. Like you can't go wrong. Like so I highly, highly recommend getting this, or at least a sample of it you can get at Sephora once the stores are opening up, of course, because in New York they closed. The next one that I'm gonna show you is probably this one's one of the oldest ones I have right here is Juicy Couture Viva La, Viva La Juicy. Uh I feel like a lot of girls have this, like a classic. According to online it says top wild berries mandarin heart honeysuckle gardenia jasmine amber vanilla and sandalwood pra praline and you definitely smell vanilla with this thing here definitely smell wild berries as you can see like i always i went through almost halfway through it and i'm i still wear it to this day um i'd wear this for sure if you're going to class or going to like do go on errands or something I'd say wear this right here. Um, a lot of people that I know have this as well and wear it every day. That's their everyday perfume. Um, I put this more, like I said, going to school, my errands run perfume. But I highly recommend this. This was like 100 bucks for me. I got this at Macy's. Um, it's really good, so I recommend this. The next one that I'm going to show you guys is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Paris, my the most expensive perfume I have. Each squirt of it is like a dollar, two dollars. So I'm not gonna squeeze it right now. Right? It's my favorite. Oh, everybody, Dancy, we're gonna show you something. Just this is my favorite, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> you, you like me? It's funny because she never kisses me. She only kisses my dad on the nose. Watch. Here, this right here smells very. This smells very classy and very like bougie. Like I got something important to do. I got to make a $20,000 transaction right now. You know what I mean? It's definitely for like an older feel in my opinion. But I personally really, really like it. It smells like according to this thing. Well, to me, it smells very like floral for sure. Mixed with like patchouli. If you guys don't know what that smells like. Maybe one of your perfumes that you have with you have patchouli in it. It's like a mix of that. If I can like squirt this in front of you guys and you guys can smell it, I would, trust me. So this here smells like orange, patchouli, a Turkish rose according to the um, description. And then I have like a couple of Victoria's Secret perfumes. And the only, for, the only ones I really have is this one here. Victoria's Secret Crush, Fragrance, Fragrance uh, Mist, and Victoria's Secret. Very sexy. I feel like all of you girls out there and probably guys out there who have girlfriends, wives, or side hoes know what this smells like, okay? This smells super sexy like you put this put lingerie but i would wear this when i went out with my friends like go out girls night you know like hey that's what this is in my opinion so the next perfume i'm going to show you guys is this dot perfume right here shout out to Alyssa who put this on me because she kept saying this is her favorite it's her favorite and i smelled it she had it once with her and i smelled it and it was so good so according to the description online, it says a honeysuckle, jasmine, and orange blossom, while a base closes with a trail of coconut water, vanilla, driftwood, and a sensual musk. Yeah, I, I, I for sure get uh, a musky scent to this more than floor, in my opinion. According to this thing, it says people smell more fruity. Yeah, I'd say this is more fruity, I guess, than these, in my opinion. But um, I for sure recommend you guys go and try to get a sample of this or like smell it at the store, like put it on you and then walk around the mall. And if you don't like it, you don't got to get it. And if you like it, you still don't got to get it because I know it's kind of expensive, but still, I recommend this, my opinion. So thank you, Alyssa, for recommending this to me. And we're going to open this one right here. So this is a dear gift from a nice person out there shout you out person you know who you are that's gone soccer kid what up <laughs> <laughs> so obviously i got like these samples right here it's like this shampoo and conditioner right here and i got this right here we can do a mask later for this Let's go. and then i got this free right here this foaming oil cleanser right here like you know on sephora you can get for free and this is it right here, the Valentino uh, Born in Roma perfume. So what inspired me to get this was after I got this right here, the Coco Chanel one. So I was walking around and I asked like one of the employees, what's your favorite perfume? And she was like, girl, let me show you. And it was this right here, the Valentino 
born in Ramona. My cousin also, like, me and her were exchanging words. And she was like, girl, I like this one. I'm trying to get this one, too. And I'm like, okay, I guess I got to get it. Because, it, like, it has, like, a five-star rating on Sephora's website. And I paid... Well, this is, like, $75. This is the one ounce. But I got this for $65 because in Sephora now, if you can get $10 off, but it's worth, like, 500 points, like, for exchange. And that might be, like... They probably robbed me for that part. Because 500 points is, like worth more than ten dollars in my opinion because like I, I don't know but either way i still re i just i just redeem my points for this and let me open it right now and this is it isn't it so pretty guys and like the bottle and everything so let's spray it i'm gonna spray it on my sweater right here Fresh. To me, know. it smells very vanilla. Like you definitely get vanilla when you smell it, in my opinion. It like so according to my notes, according to online, it says definitely warm floral, black currant, jasmine, grandy floral, bur bourbon vanilla. Like I said, it smells like vanilla. It smells really good, but like if I'm being honest, it's not like my favorite favorite. But like my boyfriend got it for me and i don't want to be rude to like send it back and you know it does smell good though it does smell good but i'm not saying it's like my top three in my opinion but i definitely will wear this and i'm excited to add this to my little collection right here i got this free like little um not free it was like 200 points right here of sephora automatically i get like a bouquet of flowers like floral like it says in like the name of it florence um would i buy the full size bottle of this no because i don't like fragrances that are too much floral like i like floral but mix of like something you know yeah this smells like when you walk into like a flower shop and all the different like flowers hit you that's what it exactly smells like i mean i'm definitely gonna add this to my little collection of perfumes right here but yeah oh i forgot to show you guys that i have this right here the black opium it's like a little set, like a little sample that I got from Sephora. And this here smells like coffee and maturity, in my opinion. Before I end this video, I forgot to mention one perfume. It's the JLo um Glow by JLo. And I got this as a as a birthday gift when I was like probably 15 or 16. Either way, this thing here smells so good. I can't find it anywhere online. It's like all sold out. She discontinued this perfume, and I would say this smells like femininity, sexiness. It smells like i'm trying to have a good time like you can smell lily what do you think it smells like and this bottle was like only 32 dollars or 15 dollars i don't remember what do you think it smells like mm, no, smell like strawberry peace <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put up the notes what it says here but in my opinion this definitely goes in the youth category, but anyone can wear this. Any like any age, I don't care like what age you is. Jennifer's like fifteen; she probably still wears this in the house, smelling all good, you know everything. And yes, yeah, so I highly recommend this. And now I will show you my number one perfume in the world. Well, this is my favorite perfume right here, the Gilly Hicks La Perfumerose. It is completely empty. There's like one little drop or like squirt in here, and it's like already yellow because I've had this since I was like. 16 or 17 i would say and i went back one day to the store to buy a new bottle and the store was closed and i was like okay okay okay, i can buy it online no girl everything was closed with gilly hicks there's no such thing as gilly hicks right now it was a family of hollister you know like eric combi but they completely closed down and i'm so mad that i didn't pick up a new bottle because it was 50 percent off at the time and i told myself i'm gonna buy one um maybe next time because i was being fucking cheap and no, I never got it. And I just keep it here. So I one day if I find a scent that smells like this, I can compare to it. But trust me, if I find a scent that's like this, I will know. Because that was my favorite scent. I wore it everywhere. I wore it to school. I wore it to my first year of college. I remember people complimenting me saying like, who smells like that? And I'm like, it's, and they would like sniff around. It would be me. And they'd be like, Jessica, you smell good. And I'm like, I know. This is literally my scent right here. So according to online, it says fresh flowers, soft woods, desert pea flower, and a lilac soft musk. So because of the description, that's when I found out that I like a lilac soft musk scent. And I haven't been able to find one in my opinion. But recently, so what i found out online was that they renamed this gilly hicks la perferous into hollister um cali vibes and of course with my luck 
um they discontinued that perfume i don't know why because it smelled so so good and i didn't know about it until like a couple weeks ago and so i started like searching it up if i can buy it and someone is people a couple people are selling it on um ebay and i bought it um yesterday actually i bought this perfume yesterday but like the the new version of it of course and according to the comments that i've seen on amazon and other websites it smells just like gilly hicks la perfurus so i can't wait for that perfume to come and i can tell you guys whether it smells like that because like i said this is my number one favorite perfume in the entire world i wasn't i'm never I, i've never been able to find something that compares to this or something similar to this so yeah uh, i think that's all it is now i'm gonna show you guys my collection of perfumes overall <laughs> 